In this video, we're going to talk about fine detailed nature in Lumion 10. My name is Katerina, I'm a garden designer, and I see you next. So in this video from Garden Design Tools, we're going to talk about fine detail nature. One of the newest features from Lumion 10, the pro version only, and when to use it and what is it exactly and how it uh, differentiates from the, um, the other vegetation inside Lumion. So let's just go quickly to the website, um, fine detail nature. So it had 62 new uh, vegetation. Uh, in uh, in um, in the Lumion library, um, from trees to bushes to shrubs, I'm going to show you which ones they have. So, what exactly this means? It means really high end quality um, in terms of modeling, and this has uh, two um, advantages. It's really crisp, really nice when you do your still images and it looks amazing like you see here in the image when you're doing your animations, um, when you're doing things with wind, etc. And with lighting, it, they look amazing. One of the biggest disadvantages, especially if you're working with a, a large garden setting or a large landscape, is that if you use them a lot, a lot of models, your your whole model becomes really heavy. So your workflow is really gonna gonna suffer from because of this. Okay, so I will definitely use them. I love them. They have some boxwood and some um, carpinus bachelors, really nice. But try to make it just in that key points or just that key vegetation that you don't use like 50 uh, models from fine detail nature in your model okay um, use I would use most of the normal vegetation of from Lumion that's amazing as well um, and just to use this uh, uh, this models from um, fine detail nature just in key uh, points or key areas of your garden that you know exactly that you're going to render that image, for example. Or if you have an animation, imagine you have an animation of a certain angle and you can put there a fine detail tree or something like that. I'll definitely use that. Okay. But just, uh, it's really, it's a compromise between, because the normal vegetation looks great anyway. So you really should think about what compromise do you want to have between time and the time you have and the time to do the renderings and the animations and uh, how good it looks. So we're just going to take a quick look um, in here. That's the fine detail nature. So here is the normal library in uh, nature. You can see here and that's the library you already know. So always in non Lumion Pro only. That's why I always say I'm not even uh, suggesting you buy Lumion 10, just the Lumion 10 version, because if you're a garden designer or landscape architect, there's definitely no point in just buying that version, okay? Because all the nice vegetation, everything, all the nice effects is in Lumion Pro 10. Um, so this is the normal library that you already know, and they had some, uh, some forest wood, really nice new features. Um, and this is the fine detail. So as you can see here, it's all from Evermotion. So, and they always have this uh, thing saying, we recommend using them to a minimal. So yes, it's great. Yes, it's amazing. But if it's really going to screw your workflow, what's the point really, you know? The point is in these things I'm going to show you now, because you have this kind of amazing Carpinus spatulas here. And if you're a garden designer, if you want a specific structural trees like this, this looks great. And you have a box woods, for example. Okay. And the detail is amazing. The, the, the branch is amazing. So you have it's 62 in total. So I'm just going to quickly show you. So, and they all form, uh, and they have two years, they all from Evermotion. And they are amazing, the details. That's why I'm saying, for example, if something like this or so box woods here down, that's the only fine detail I used in this specific model to show to show you. Um, I will definitely use them. 
if you want something specifically like this, like this box wood or something like this, they look great. They look really realistic and really good when you do your... So it's going to be difficult to don't want to use them, you know, because they look so great and they have this specific structural um, vegetation that, you know, as a garden designer, I'm sure you're going to get this one. I will not use, for example, but, you know, you can use them if you want. But, for example, if you're doing something like this cactus... If using a lot of them, it's going to be really heavy, you know, your your model. So you have to think about that compromise. If using just five of them or ten, I will use them. I will add them in a specific layer. So maybe just switch off that layer while you're working in the rest of the garden. Um, that's a, a way to do it, at least until the point that you actually need to do the renders. Um, but yeah, they look amazing. They look amazing. I'm going to do some still uh, images, some renderings uh, in the end, just to show you the, the um, how they look. But they are really good detailing. Okay, so that's it. That's the, 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 th the big thing about fine detail nature. They are much more uh, sh sharp uh, in terms of texture in the branches, but you're not going to notice all the time. Just if you do it a really high resolution uh, rendering and you, or a, a really an animation that you show in the wind, the leaves in the wind, it's a big thing. Um, and there you can see the difference. But um, um, in still images, just if you do a high resolution um, image, the the big thing here that I, will, I like them is because they have more structural because I don't have a box wood in the, if I had a box wood similar to this one in a normal uh, vegetation from Lumion I probably wouldn't use the fine detail one okay uh, one thing that's a bit annoying in my point of view um, I'm not sure if it's just me because normally when you're working with vegetation in Lumion, you can, for example, if you have the, the moving key and you press Alt in your keyboard, it copies that vegetation, as you can see here. Okay. So if I'm pushing, if I'm uh, pressing the, the move key at the same time Alt in my keyboard, it copies copies and moves the new copy okay so that's when you're doing a big gardening a big garden and you're doing the planting and you're working and that's for me it's really it's really nice thing to have because it's quicker than go to the library again and find that species and put it you know and just adding to the model like this alt and move it's quick to 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 copy vegetation but i can't do that with fine detail I don't know why. So if I press Alt in my keyboard and the move key, it just moves the plant. It doesn't actually, and I can't even, you see, I can't undo. So there is some weird things regarding um, the, the fine detail library. I'm not sure what it is. For example, if I want another item I love in the in the Lumion uh, library, for example, normal vegetation, I can quickly go, for example, if I want this model, um, this specific grass, I want to select all identicals and I want to replace selection with ones in the library. So this is something I will do. If you want to replace a, uh, a, a planting species um, from your garden all at all at once, so uh, instead of going and selecting 171 uh, grasses, I could quickly go and replace them all with another species I want. Okay, with fine detail, as you can see actually here, it's it's not uh, it's not bold. It's you, the, all the other colors. I could even replace with other models, for example. But with fine detail, that is not possible. So that's another thing I find weird. I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know if it's because they are really actually very heavy. So they don't want you to, to, to use them so much. Like they say, use them to a minimum. Uh, they actually, they say that. So makes heavier, can slow down Lumion. Recommend them using minimally. 
So that might be it. Okay. So that's another thing you, you should really um, consider. Okay. Because um, you're not going to be able not only to copy them from here, um, you're not going to be able to actually um, not copy using the alt key. Okay. In the keyboard, uh, you can't select maybe let me see if I can select all at once. Okay. I can select all at once. Replace selection. So I can replace them. As you can see from use the normal vegetation, I can't replace them with another fine detail nature. So that's something strange, isn't it? Um, considering they are a fine detail nature model, but anyway, just something for you to consider, but I love them. I think it's a great step again, saying that um, it's amazing. I always welcome more vegetation in the library, of course. Um, and I like them clipped like this. They look amazing as a garden designer. I love them. Um, I just want to see more in the normal Lumion library as well. Okay. Because if it's going to mess all the workflow, if it's going to make it unusable in a way, or, or at least in the quantities you want them. Um, there's no much point for them to be in there. Okay. So I'll use them. I'll use the box wood and, um, yeah, I'm just going to do some renderings for you to check out in the end, how they look. Um, and I'm going to try and put something really sharp in terms of texture and please Lumion just I'm just going to quickly show you something that annoys me to no end in the orange tree, this branch like this, it's so long and all straight. It annoys me so much. <laughs> Sorry, it's just uh, a little, hopefully they will add some orange, new orange tree models. As you can see, for example, I'm just going to quickly show you this messing uh, the background. So this is the branch, the bark. So it's okay, you know, and in the rendering is going to be okay, really. Um, it works fine, I think. But now if you go to this, the quality is, 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 it's much nicer. All the quality of the branch. Okay. Much more realistic. Okay. So that's how, that's why it's so heavy as well, as well as the rest of the, the tree, the leaves, etc. So I'll just, I'll love them for them to, to add more like orange trees, new orange tree, because that's one of the first models, I think, uh, from the old versions of Lumion. So, you know, this is my, my thing. But one thing that's great in Lumion is actually, you can actually request in the forum, in the uh, Lumion forum for a species of trees. And, um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, um, that's definitely something, um, if you're interested, if you're working in Lumion, you should do. So I hope you enjoy it. I'll add some renderings in the end of this video for you to check it out. And let me know what you think about fine detail nature in Lumion Pro 10. See you in the next video. Quick thing before you go guys, just gonna update until the end of the year the courses. So we're gonna have a rendering your client's dream garden course for Lumion Pro 10. So whoever registers until the end of the year for Lumion Pro 9 course or VIP Lumion Pro 9 course is gonna have access to the Lumion 10 as well. So just check it out our website in the description below. See you.